Uh, we're going to show uh, disassembling the uh, the bellows from the interface and from the uh, crosshat. First, we have to loosen up the four screws. Uh, the screws are quarter twenty eight thread. Okay. Now what's going to happen, we're going to pull this interface off of the cross that is still being taxed. So have it come straight up. So now we have it laid in horizontal position. I put something underneath the uh, the one end so it you know prevent any scratches and stuff like that and just to keep it elevated. So what we want to do is take off the standoffs that are sent with the unit. Remove your standoffs. Alright, now you could actually stretch it out a little bit. And these are uh, what they call them Herbie clips. And they're just actually easy to uh, reuse. Rotate them, they just pop off. And that remove like that. Now, here's a picture of what the clip looks like. So when you go to reassemble it, put it around the bellows, and then you got to squeeze it back. Now you can only squeeze it so far by hand, and then you want to use a pair of pliers like so to actually finish squeezing it all the way, so you have a nice firm, you know, tight. Uh, so this part of your bellows here, you could either leave on or remove it for cleaning. And the reason we have this uh, rubber band, it just helps with a better seal for the, uh, the rubber. Uh, it could be used without the rubber band or with it, but we prefer that with the rubber band. It just seems like it's a better seal. Uh, The other thing you should look at too, well, since we're doing this, is on the internal of the interface. Uh, after you run it quite a few times, you're going to end up building condensation if you don't keep a good purge on the annular space. So what will happen is you're going to get discoloration on the copper parts inside, which can affect your temperature. So every once in a while you might have to remove the cold head, go in there, you can go in there with soap and water, back it off with isopropanol or acetone, and then purge it out real good with nitrogen, and then reassemble it, because this way it will actually prevent it from oxidizing and actually keep your uh, performance up to, up to par. So that's another thing you need to look out for. Okay, so uh, we're going to reinstall the bellows, you know, just make sure you clean this off. Uh, when you put it back together, make sure your rubber band is on good. You can, you can move your rubber band up a little bit, it doesn't have to be right at the edge. You know, just take your time. Now sometimes we, what we do is um, you can't put a small thin layer of grease but it makes it a little bit more difficult for it to uh, seat on uh, just by sliding it on. So you know you can do that. So what I would do is just put a real thin layer of grease you know just to, to help sealing and stuff and also you know just so it goes on a little bit smoother
if you put too much on it's going to be difficult to put the bellows on because it'll just keep slipping off the only thing you got to remember is and this is rectangular make sure you line up the same way you took it off so that this this port's facing your pump out port depending on what you're doing it could be the opposite way and uh, you know uh, different different ways to do it now the hard part is uh, sometimes you might need like two people like, for instance uh, someone just to stable that I stick this back on which is always complicated this is the tricky part All right, just gotta get it right. Once you get it set up, then put the Herbie clip back on. You want to rotate this and this should be 180 from each other. So just make sure that your bellows is up. Tighten it down. Take your pliers, install this back on, tighten it up, now we're going to go and put the standoffs back in, the other thing with the standoffs, just make sure that the threads still look good because it's easy to gall the threads uh, on these so you got to be careful putting them back together and lining them up correctly. I just put them in snug them first. So now once we got the uh, standoffs back in place, they're all a little loose, uh, you want to uh, start tightening them back in place. Uh, just cross Tighten. So everything's lined up correctly. Then there will be an o ring to put back on here. You could grease that, re grease that, clean it with isopropanol, re grease the o ring. And when you're putting it back down, Just take your time, it lines up correctly, and finish uh, tightening the four screws to cross that. Make sure they're all snug. And uh, we're back in operation.